And tonight, people are demanding answers after the Licking County Board of Health voted against having a syringe exchange program in their area. It's one of 69 counties in Ohio that do not have an exchange program, even though the CDC recognizes it as an effective tool to stop the spread of certain diseases. NBC 4's Danielle Vittable is live tonight with both sides. And tonight, about four hours ago, the board had its first meeting after making that decision behind these doors. People from all across the state came to voice their opinions and wanted answers about why the board went in that direction. But tonight, they didn't get those. With signs in hand, people from across the state came together to voice their opinions on why the Licking County Health Department should allow a syringe exchange program. And it's an excellent tool. It's not a cure-all for addiction or, um, you know, the drug problem we got going on, but it's a piece of the puzzle for sure. At last month's meeting, the board decided not to accept the program that allows drug users to get clean syringes. The people who use syringe programs are real people who have health care needs. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control recognizes SEPs as effective tools to reduce the spread of HIV and hepatitis. Nobody even knows. And Dennis Kushan says it's a necessary program. People who inject drugs don't have access to sterile syringes so they share syringes and they get all types of diseases and spread it outside the IV drug using community. Tuesday night people just wanted answers as to why the eight board members didn't want to accept the program. I tried asking one of the members her reason against it and was told no comment. The PIO for the health department said there are other resources drug addicts can turn to within the county. The health department is committed to uh, disease prevention and that's what we focus on and we do try to offer as many programs uh, as possible. As a former addict and user of the program in Columbus, Billy McCall says it's not something that encourages drug use. It can save lives. It's just a new approach and um, you know there's a lot of different outlets for it but the main thing is keeping people alive and healthy to get into recovery. And people tell me they will continue their fight and keep coming to these meetings until they figure out why the board went in that direction. And the PIO said even though the meeting aren't allowed here right now, it doesn't mean that the program won't be here in the future. Local for you in Lincoln County, Danielle Vittable, NBC4.